Hi, this is Polly from thefitmumformulas.com and today I'm going to talk about veganism. Have you ever considered being a vegan or a vegetarian or perhaps you are already? Now the reason I ask this is because vegan eating or reducing meat consumption is predicted to be one of the biggest foodie and health trends of this year and the amount of people turning to a vegan lifestyle is increasing rapidly. It comes every, you can get people from every end of the spectrum. So on one end you've got people who just opt for a meat free Monday, so one day a week they won't have any meat or fish. Then you've got people who just won't eat red meat. And you've got pescatarians will eat fish, vegetarians will eat things like dairy and eggs. And then vegans won't have any animal products at all and often will bring this into other areas of their life. So not have any animal products in the cosmetics they use, the clothes they wear and that sort of thing. Now, why are people doing this? Well, usually it's because people perceive this to be a healthier change. Now, the discussion around whether reducing meat consumption and opting for a plant-based lifestyle could be a very, very long conversation indeed because there are multiple factors that come into it. So we're not going to go into that today or we'd be here for hours. But what I would like to go into is looking at your personal reasons for making these choices and whether they're aligned with your goals. Because the thing is about a healthy diet is what matters is not necessarily how you achieve the end goal, it's just getting to the end goal. So for example, you could make the argument that a vegan diet that isn't well planned out could be lacking in protein, could be lacking in certain B vitamins, it could be lacking in iron, and all the other things that you get from meat and fish and animal products. Um, so you could make the argument that a vegan diet is not optimal. However, if you were to compare that to a meat eater diet that is also not optimal, you couldn't necessarily say that was any better. So let's say somebody who eats all foods, there's, there's nothing they restrict, there's no allergies or intolerances, no anything, and they're eating things like lots of processed meat, they're eating junk food, fast food, well, not being funny, yes, they're going to get some iron, they're going to get some protein, and they're going to get those B vitamins that the vegans aren't getting, but nevertheless, that's not a healthy diet. So to say outright as a blanket statement that veganism is better than meat eating, or meat eating is better than veganism, is just missing so many factors that come into it. And while I would say that a vegan has to plan out their diet a lot more carefully, um, I, I don't think that just including meat in your diet will suddenly make it healthy. There are so many other things that come into it. Now what I would say though is the more you cut out of your diet, the more meticulous you're going to have to be to make sure you get everything. That could be out of choice because you're choosing to not eat certain things. It could be because of allergies and, and intolerances. So maybe you can't eat certain things. Dairy and gluten are two common ones. Um, so with dairy, if you're not having any dairy at all, you're gonna need to make sure you're getting some calcium and those, um, those vitamins, those fat-soluble vitamins that are in milk from other sources as well. I mean, it could be for religious re reasons or beliefs that maybe, so we've got a cat joining us here as well. Um, that maybe you're, um, ch that you don't eat certain foods or certain food groups. But at the end of the day, what matters is that you're getting everything you need. If you can do that through a meat eating diet, great. If you can do that by not eating meat but eating dairy and eggs, then great. If you can do that through a vegan diet, then great, it doesn't matter and I would never judge somebody on their choices. What I would do is question, I'd do two things. Firstly, I'd question your motives. So why are you choosing to, for example, go vegan? Is it because you read a blogger who you respect do that? Okay, but how much, is that a blogger or is that a dietitian or are they a nutritionist, you know? What were their reasons? Maybe they have health conditions and personal reasons and personal situations that they've chosen to do that that actually bear no resemblance to your goals, your life and your body. 
So don't ever do anything just because somebody else has done it. It has to be right for you. And that's another reason we should never judge each other because we're all different. We've all got different bodies. And just because one person says that something's good for you or that it's really worked for them, and I'm not doubting that a certain choice has worked amazingly well for this person, but you are not that person. Okay, so that's the first thing I'd ask is, why are you doing this? Do, can you give me some concrete examples and reasons why you are making whatever choices you are making? Number two, how are you going to get around the fact that you do need certain nutrients in your diet? Everybody does. And if you're going to be cutting out certain things, whatever that is, whether that's gluten because you're intolerant or whether it's veganism because it's animal cur cur cruelty, whatever it is, if you're going to be cutting anything out of your diet, how are you going to make sure that you're still getting everything you need? And I know people who cut things out of the diet will say, well, because there's that nutrient in that and there's that in that. Great. So make sure you're eating those. If there's, if you can tell me, but there's calcium in leafy greens and there's cal calcium in, in some nuts and that kind of thing, great. So you've got to then make sure you're eating those nuts and leafy greens or whatever the example may be. There's no point in just saying, it's okay, I don't need to eat this, I don't need to eat that because I can get all of those nutrients elsewhere. In the vast majority of cases, that is very true. But also, in my personal experience, in the vast majority of cases, the people saying that making those arguments of it's okay, I can get those nutrients elsewhere, aren't getting enough of those foods that they're telling me they can get those vitamins in. So, to summarise, there is nothing right or wrong about any one particular way of eating or diet if you do it properly. At the end of the day, you need to get everything you need. And the more you cut out of your diet, Regardless of your motives, the more attention you're going to have to pay to your diet because the harder it is to get everything you need. So if you're concerned, if you do have a certain way of eating and you want some advice and want to make sure that you are getting everything you need or if you're struggling to get everything you need, post up below, post in the comments, get in touch, polly at thefitmamaformula.com and we can have a little conversation, say, right, what are you not eating? What are you eating? What are you missing? How can we get round that without compromising your personal choices? Because I don't ever feel that anybody needs to for be forced into something that they're not happy doing. They just have to be able to get round whatever issues they're facing. So I hope that was useful and I hope that was a, ironically for me, very gentle, non-judgmental view there on different people's choices and, and ways of eating. As I said, get in touch, comment below if you've got any questions or concerns about your own personal diet and what you might be missing. Okay, I hope that was useful. Polly from thefitmumformula.com.